DJ Ferris. This Chicago, nigga. It's the real one. Get back. Only one that's pulling shit. Let's get the sports talk. Bumps in this documentary, but he also gives them out, guys. He is so petty and lethal in this doc. I swear half the scenes are just him saying, wait, but who are we kidding? This guy wasn't as good as me. <laughs> and we saw it last night. Indeed, the list of Hall of Famers, elite, elite talent guys who never got a ring because of Jordan. Patrick Ewing, Charles Barkley, John Stockton, Carl Malone, Reggie Miller. Here's Charles Barkley talking about losing to Jordan in last night's episode. I have no problem losing to Michael. Losing to Michael, there's no shame in that. Sports are like a gunfight. And we lost to the fastest gun. Best in the West. Paul, you heard Barkley say there is no shame in losing to Michael Jordan. But of all the guys denied a ring by MJ, who do you think is the best player? I think of all the guys that was denied by MJ, I got to go with Carl Malone. I mean, Carl, we'll be talking. I, I agree. Carl Malone got to the finals at least, I think, three three times against Michael Jordan. And they couldn't get past him. He denied him three times that he got there and faced Jordan. Every trip, they came up empty. Him and Stockton came up empty. The game with Jordan had the flu, and he mushed Russell out the way and hit that game with a shot, that was a heartbreaker for them. That team was good in Utah. They just couldn't get past Michael Jordan and the Bulls. That was their kryptonite. You, like, you get there and think you have a chance this time and it's ruined. You walk over that court with your head down. Like, I just can't get over this hump. It's, it's just like... I agree with Hopper. Yeah, it's Carmelo. I feel like as he he faced him multiple times in that finals and couldn't get the job done. Him and Stockton. About him as being probably the best power forward all time. If he gets one, maybe two rings in that era, but you know, there's no shame. Like you said, you lost to the greatest player of all time. I mean, I just couldn't imagine playing in a Jordan era. To where it's like there's no rings available until those two years he uh, he retired in the 90s. And it was just like all these guys that were in their prime, it was just, I know they look back today and it was like if Michael Jordan was just hurt or something else, he just didn't play in that era, you know, be history would be a whole lot different, I'll tell you that. Yeah. Yeah, that's the only way you can take advantage. The Rockets took advantage when Jordan was out of the league. That's the only way he was going to win a championship. When Jordan retired with the baseball, that was everyone opportunity. Houston went to go grab it to get it because he retired. And they know this is their opportunity. And they took full advantage of it. It's the Jazz and Sata and, and, and uh, the mailman would have had opportunity to get that opportunity that Houston did. They would have been good. But when it slipped your finger and he get back in the league, and then he shattered your dreams once you get back there and face him. That's the only way you could have took advantage of it when he was out of the league. I got to go with Carl Malone as well. I mean, you think about the number of points that this cat put up. Uh, he's a two-time MVP, and he faced MJ the most in the finals uh, two years in a row. Uh, he was denied by the greatest player ever. And like Charles Barkley says, no shame in that. I mean, you got to go down the list and look at all the Hall of Famers that this cat eliminated from not winning the championship. Carl uh, Malone, I mean, had he won one or two, you know, he probably would be the greatest power forward to ever. It play. really is interesting. And when you get to that elite, elite level, you don't want to be that rings culture and say a ring is everything. And Barkley's talked eloquently on this over the years. But Carl Malone's legacy really would be completely different if he had it. Yeah, it would be completely different if he would have got one or two. He 
would have been good. He was being talked about a lot. They don't talk about Carmelo as much as they should. They don't talk about it as much. It's like when they when you don't win a ring or anything, they barely talk to you. Talk about you now. They don't they, they don't say too much. But he he's still a great power for he just kind of get that ring. And it just it, it, it really hurt him it hurt him a little because he couldn't get the opportunity. But at the end of the day he became a Hall of Famer. He still won the top power force. He just couldn't get that ring. That was just he couldn't get to the top. At least one title ring. I'm not sure Barclays would. I think Charles has been able to carve such a path for himself post playing. We would kind of think of him the same way if he had a ring or not. But I do think we would think of Carl a lot differently, like both of you guys said. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For